Hey squad, first of all, I'd like to address the fact that um, I, I'm kind of giving no makeup right now, as you might be able to tell. Take a look at that eye bag, girl, yeah, that's all natural. It was the night before New Year's Eve, and I finally got someone to come film one of my lessons. I will say it wasn't a terribly interesting one. In this video, I'm gonna give an update on Leo. I'm gonna talk about confidence through the turn, how that affects your jump, and then also I'm gonna talk you through some complex flat work that we did. So if that sounds interesting, give it a watch. Side note, I have my nails done, rawr, um, for New Year's Eve, obviously, and I'm really enjoying it. I hate having nails. Like I have to do press-ons because, you know, you can just rip them off the next day, but I can only ride in gloves. Like riding without them is just so unpleasant. And I obviously cannot have nails in my gloves because they don't fit in there and it just pisses me off. So I am slaying it up with the press-ons right now. Okay, so I will say that this video does not make me look like I'm very good at riding horses. Um, but basically, if you've been kind of watching my channel, like, especially the last video, um, you know that Leo's been having some issues. Um, we had the vet out. It was an issue with his hawks. They got injected. Um, I think I said that in the last video, but anyway, so here is just the first time that I rode him after his hawks were injected. He had obviously some time off. Um... And I know this does not look very good, but it's basically just me trying to get him to use the muscles that he's been avoiding using because he has gotten used to um, like protecting them basically. So you can see he really doesn't want to engage the right side of his neck, um, which he needs to engage for the left bend. And that's because he's been protecting that muscle and not using it because it's been hurting him. But now that he's injected, it won't be hurting him, but he doesn't really know that yet. So um, I'm just getting him to kind of test it out here, which is why it looks so choppy and ugly because he's really fighting me a lot. And usually I don't really fight with him on things, but sometimes you just know you're right. And so I'm like, please just try and use your neck <laughs> and you'll know that it feels better. But he just wasn't really quite believing me. So right here, um, I'm doing some counter canner and I'm trying to get him to keep the lead. And I feel like this is when he starts kind of believing me a little bit more that his neck isn't hurting him. So um, it doesn't look the best, but we're just reversing here so that we're no longer on the counter canner. Now we're on the correct lead. Um, and I'm just doing a little bit of extension. You never want to sit up to extend. Like, I feel like a lot of people think you need to lean forward. You do want to sit up, actually, but a lot of people think you need to, like, sit up as in get out of the saddle, but you really don't. You just need to kind of sit back and put your leg on. Um, so I need to extend more. <laughs> yep, there we go. I'm extending. You can see me kind of pumping with my elbows. That's probably my worst habit. Um, and then now I'm going to go back to a working canner get some flexion and to do that I'm just going to increase my leg and hand. You don't want to um, drop your leg when you're trying to slow down or drop your hand when you're trying to speed up because that'll just make your horse disorganized. You want to try and keep both um, and obviously the degree to which you're using them is going to vary but there we go right onto the walk. His downward transitions are so good right now. I'm so happy with him. Um, that's me picking up the counter canner. I'd already warmed up, by the way, before this, but I just don't have it on video. Now we're doing some transitions, um, to practice his upward transitions. And you can see right there, he's just not really working with me super well, you know what I mean? So, I think it's really just a matter of getting him to figure out he needs to use these muscles. Um, and you can see... That nice crossover with the front legs. Wow, that was gorgeous, Carolyn. Um, picking up the counter canner again. The aids for the counter canner, you're going to want both hands to the outside. So inside closing rein, outside opening rein, and inside leg slides back. A little bit of inside spur on them. And you want to keep that outside calf on them so that they don't drift to the outside. Now we're on the correct lead. And he's just kind of really behind my leg. He feels not honestly great. I So 
this was yesterday um and then I wrote him today today's the 30th and yesterday was the 29th this is from the 29th and I wrote him today um I didn't get that on video but I will say he felt a lot better today and I think that this 29th day was just teaching him that um his injections had kicked in and that he could now use his whole body but right here you can see he doesn't believe me he doesn't want to bend left he says that hurts and I say no it doesn't I promise that it doesn't hurt and then um he realizes that it doesn't hurt <laughs> and he listens to me um if your horse is doing stuff like this I would definitely recommend that you look into some potential medical issues um also sometimes horses are just ponyish but in this case, it was a medical issue. So going to that vertical, I overrode it a lot. Um, this is like a new problem for me. After the barracks show, I've been overriding to every jump. I kick and pull and kick and pull and kick and pull to make sure I get a perfect distance because he was stopping at the show when I wasn't getting good distances, which <laughs> I mean, um, that's not great. So, okay, right there is why you need confidence out of the turn. Um, you can see that he really kind of backed off of that coming through the turn we didn't have enough speed and then i saw long and just kicked and didn't have the confidence because i didn't believe that he was going to take off because i didn't trust his injections yet and so you could just see that that was not good um but the actually the out worked out really nicely so here i am about to do this rollback I'm keeping this inside leg on him, keeping him bent, and then right over this jump, I'm gonna just tap him with that inside rein so that he picks up the right lead. Gorgeous. A rollback is actually not what we're doing right now. We're actually gonna do this line again because it was bad the first time. You can see I ride out of the turn with confidence before I even get to the jump, and it's gorgeous. I have to sit back a little bit more um, just because you have a little more pace coming into that jump, but it actually turns out like quite nicely. Now I'm going to stop, back him up, because he didn't really listen to my aids that well, and then I'm going to turn him this way. Um, it's actually less that he didn't listen to my aids, he just naturally drifts right, so we're trying to teach him that he's not always going to turn right after the jump. Um, but he's actually been pretty good about that recently. You can see he's just still very protective of his hawks. You can see it in this canner. It's stiff. Um, he's very heavy in his front end. So we're coming around this turn. Gorgeous. Change of lead over the jump. Uh, I like to just do that by just giving him a little tap with the inside rein, but it doesn't work for everyone. That jump was nice. I got a little bit of a deeper distance, um, but it actually was fine. It was just kind of what came up. And then for this, <laughs> for this rollback, I was like, what the hell? Because um, it's just a very awkward turn. I got a little bit deeper to that. You always want to be deep into a rollback rather than long because your canner will be more together. And then that worked out gorgeous. I tried to hug that oxer as much as I could. Okay, so obviously that was not the best lesson of our lives. It was choppy. It was kind of disorganized. It was just, it wasn't the cutest. But I rode him today, the 30th. That was from the 29th and um he was so much better i think the 29th really was just me teaching him that his injections were working and getting him to trust them getting him to use his muscles and stop protecting them so much um because that was a really choppy lesson for us and then today he was so much more smooth so much more fluid i didn't get it on video of course we jumped around he was really good um still uh, stiff to the left but that's kind of to be expected not nearly as stiff as he has been and this is the moment that I really knew the injections worked I was coming up to a 3-6 vertical I saw absolutely no distance like dead missed like he took off three strides before the jump and I was so expecting him to stop I literally got in my like bracing position you know plant your heels lean back I was like he's gonna stop I'm not even gonna try and he didn't stop and he just jumped it from so far away with no leg no confidence I basically was begging him not to and there was no distance he just jumped it and I at that moment 
I knew those injections literally fixed his life. He's just back to his old self and I'm so happy about that. Pretty good lesson today. I don't really think there's anything too interesting to update you about. We did a double. He was pretty fresh, but not horrible. Um, I really love a kick ride. Something about me, I love slow horses and he was just not feeling slow today. He usually is, but today he was really taking me to the jumps, which is a little bit scary for me, but I tried my best um, and I thought it was pretty good. So anyway, I hope you deeply enjoyed this and happy new years. And I hope you had a lovely 2023 and I hope you have an even lovelier 2024 and I hope you achieve all your horsey goals. And I hope to see you winning McClay finals. You better, you better win McClay finals. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, bye.